In this video, I'm going to explain slope-intercept form. Now, in the last video, you remember that we had y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals negative 1x plus 2. Both of these are linear equations, and all linear equations can be written in slope-intercept form. These two are actually in slope-intercept form now, which is the standard form to use. So slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, and x and y are variables. And in later videos, I will go over what exactly the slope is and what exactly the y-intercept is. But for now, we're just going to practice getting all linear equations into this form. So knowing that slope is m and the y-intercept is b, let's look at that first equation up above. Using the same formula, if slope is m, and y equals m times x, m is always going to be with the x. So our 2 will be our m, which is our slope. And the y-intercept is always what's added to that mx. So the 1 is going to be our y-intercept. Looking at the next problem, our slope is always multiplied to the x. So negative 1 is with the x, so our slope is negative 1. And our y-intercept is always added to the multiplication. That is going to be 2 for this problem. Below are a few examples where we're going to find the slope and the intercept again. Remember, slope is always multiplied with the x. So in this first problem, 2 thirds is our slope. and 8 would be our y-intercept. In this bottom problem, negative 5 fourths will be our slope, and you can see that a 3 is the intercept, but wait, looking at the form, we're always adding the intercept, but down here it's subtracted. And remember, subtracting a number is really adding the inverse of that number. So this is really plus a negative 3. So our y-intercept is going to be negative 3. Let's practice turning equations into the slope-intercept form. So our first example, we have y minus 3 equals 1 fifth x. Remember, our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So we need to get this equation to look like that form. So we want the y by itself, and that's an easy fix. That means we're just going to add 3 to both sides. So y is going to equal 1 fifth x plus 3. And now we can fill it in. 1 fifth is our slope and our y-intercept is going to be 3. Looking at the next example, we have y plus 2 over 1 x equals 6. We need the y all by itself because that's how it is in slope-intercept form. So we're just going to subtract a 2 over 1 x from both sides. So we're moving the variable and the coefficient, which is the number with the variable, over. So now we're going to have that y equals 6 minus 2 over 1 x. This is the same thing as y equals, we can just rearrange the order to get it in this form. So that's y equals a negative 2 over 1 x because the 2 over 1 was subtracted, so that's like adding a negative, plus 6. So looking at this, our slope is going to be a negative 2 over 1, but a negative 2 over 1 is simply a negative 2. And our intercept is going to be 6. Now the last one is a little tricky because it does not give us what the intercept is. 
we know that the slope is 45 because the 45 is multiplied to the x, and the slope is always m, but there is no y-intercept. That means you're adding 0 to this equation, so the y-intercept is simply 0.